Today we're going to be looking at working with a doc files. That's uh, Microsoft Document Files .doc files, uh, and most of us hate those. They're kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, although we can open them in OpenOffice or LibreOffice, you know, there's a proprietary format that can be a pain in the butt sometimes. But let's say we wanted to uh, read them, even though we can open them with uh, OpenOffice or LibreOffice or a number of other open source uh, office tools. Let's say we want to uh, be able to search through them, look for data, grab data from them, uh, or just convert them to a plain text file uh, from the command line. Well, that's what we're going to do today. I made this little example file. I just typed some stuff here at the top and then pasted a bunch of stuff from my website just to have some content in here. And what I'll do is I'll just save it real quick as a Microsoft doc file. I'll save it as my doc in my temp folder. And yes, save anyway. And then I will open up my terminal screen here, make it a little bit bigger for you guys, and go to my temp folder. And what I'll do is uh, normally, you know, if you try to cat that out, you'll say cat and then the name of the file, like so. And you'll get a bunch of binary gibberish, and you might actually see maybe some of the words there. You can see the hyperlinks. So technically, you could grep through this and get the text, because pretty much all the, the text data is there. It's just in between all the, the binary gibberish. Um, so that works, but there is an application out there that makes it a little bit cleaner. And if you search your repository, so I'll just use aptitude, and I'll search for cat doc you'll see that there is an application called CatDoc and it's an MS Word to text or plain text converter and I already have it installed as you can see by the eye here uh, usually it's not installed by default so go ahead and install that if you haven't I'm going to clear the screen here and once you have that installed you can say CatDoc and the name of your Microsoft doc file hit enter and there you go it gets you all the text from that file in plain text without all the extra files I'm scrolling up too far there so here's the beginning of our file it does uh, start all the hyperlinks with the word hyperlinks so since I have a lot of links on that page they all have that in there but for the most part it's just the text content of the page uh, so now it's like we can pipe that into grep and maybe grep HTTP uh, or even you can go hyperlink you know you can find all the links in there and do something with them but this could be very useful if someone sends you a uh, doc file I mean obviously you can open it up in LibreOffice or Microsoft or uh, OpenOffice and um, export it as a text file but this is just a cleaner way quicker way if you're having a script maybe you have to go through a bunch of them that have been sent to you and grab information from them once again that's called cat doc and it should be in your repositories and then just use it like you would normally use cat on Microsoft files uh, doc files uh, thank you for watching please visit filmsbychris.com and visit the links in the description I hope that you have a great day